The movie starts with a captain named Stefan, waking up from a dream where he sees a young girl in a white gown lying on the ground. He soon heads to work where he is summoned by a general, who asks him about the Kaiser and goes on to inform him that he'll now be in charge of the Kaiser's military guard. Stefan doesn't sound interested in the job but the general convinces him to take it. Following that, Stefan heads over to the Kaiser's residence and on entering the premise, the workers and people in the house seem excited about his arrival. He knocks on the front door and is answered by a lady named Meg, who looks interested in him. He walks straight in and meets Sigurd, a colonel who is in charge of the Kaiser's personal affairs. Sigurd immediately sets boundary, and Stefan just tries to tell him that he's only there to command the personal guard. Meanwhile, the Kaiser, Wilhelm, is approached by his wife, Hermione, as he's cutting some pieces of wood. She informs him of Stefan's arrival and also mentions that they should be inviting him for dinner. However, Wilhelm doesn't seem bothered as he doesn't trust the government especially since he had been removed as Kaiser. Elsewhere, Stefan meets with the Gestapo inspector, Dietrich, and he's told that he'd have to spy on Wilhelm to make sure he's not saying anything bad about the government. Again, Stefan doesn't understand why he'd be asked to spy on the Kaiser, but as Dietrich insists and also says they've gotten information that there's a British secret agent believed to be out to kill the Kaiser, Stefan doesn't argue. He is also then told that if anything happens to Wilhelm, he'll be killed too. Back at the house, Wilhelm and Sigurd are discussing the war and looking at the map when Meg comes in to serve them tea. As she's done and about to leave, Wilhelm asks where she's from and what she also thinks about the war. She says she's from Holland and also says a few things about the war that impresses Wilhelm. Wilhelm makes a joke that she's better than most of the generals making the decisions, though as she leaves, he tells Sigurd that Hermione doesn't like the maid. Later that night when Stefan is in his room alone, Meg knocks and he welcomes her in. She tells him of Wilhelm's wish to have dinner with him the next day but he just tells her to take off her clothes. She does as she's told and just as he's making love to her, he gets a sharp pain from the scar in his stomach, forcing him to stop and then tell her to inform the Kaiser that he'd be at the planned dinner. The next day, Stefan goes out to shoot into a tree and later that night, he gets prepared and goes into the house for dinner. He meets Sigurd who informs him of all the things he needs to do correctly while in the presence of Wilhelm. Stefan listens and soon after, they enter the dining room and he greets the Kaiser and his wife. While they're enjoying their meals, Wilhelm talks about a book he wrote and also how he tried to win the war before he was removed. To avoid letting Wilhelm say things that will implicate him, Hermione quickly turns the attention in the room to Stefan, asking where he's from and what his parents did. As he talks about it and also mentions the circumstances through which his parents died, Wilhelm suddenly loses his cool and rants about how everyone blames him for losing the war even though he was betrayed and deprived of full support for the war. He walks out and Stefan has to apologize to Hermione for anything he said that must have gotten Wilhelm angry. When Stefan returns to his room, he's surprised to see Make inside with him. She asks him to take off his clothes, and just as he does, they spend some quality time together, with Make having to leave afterwards, even though Stefan wanted her to stay. The next day, Sigurd informs Wilhelm that Stefan has told him of a British spy and to be able to protect the Kaiser well. He wants to move into the house. He also asks Wilhelm if he'll like to receive his daily report, but the Kaiser says he's got other important things to do. Just then, he goes out to feed the ducks and while he's there, Hermione and Sigurd discuss on the inside as she tells him that she's looking forward to good news that would see them get back their throne. Though Sigurd asks her not to give Wilhelm too much hope as it would hurt him. While he's still feeding the ducks, Make brings a new bag of feed for the ducks. As Wilhelm is talking to Make, Stefan also approaches them. Wilhelm mentions that he has been informed of the British spy and he is welcome to stay in, then asking Make to show him to his room. When he gets to the room, he asks Make to wait but she says the maids are not allowed to hook up with anyone and as that's the case, it's best if they stay away from each other as she could also put him in trouble. This doesn't stop Stefan from asking for where her room is, and she also tells him. The next day, Dietrich comes to the house and informs Stefan that they've found a new signal but are still stuck finding the exact location. Just then, he sees Make walking out of the premises and seems interested in her but Stefan seemingly brushes him off, with Dietrich suspecting that something is already going on between them. Meanwhile, Make walks into town and goes into a house owned by a pastor. She tells the man that they're already aware that there's a spy and now she's afraid of getting caught. The pastor tells her to hasten up but she says she's too scared and she'll only do what she wants to do when it's very clear and safe for her. The pastor agrees and she soon leaves as she watches to make sure no one is following her. Later that day when she returns, Wilhelm asks her about her family and as she finishes talking about them, she wants to say something but gets interrupted by Hermione who enters the room, so she just leaves. When she gets to her room, Stefan is right there reading one of her books and she's initially furious to see him around. 
but he manages to get her calm after which they spend time together. Later that night, she tells him she's Jewish, and he says he doesn't care. When he leaves her place that morning, he notices gun oil on his cigarette pack when he lights his cigarette that he had taken from Make's room. He doesn't think about it too much and would eventually meet Dietrich who tells him they're close to getting the person sending the signal. And they'd go in to search everywhere in town when they are sure where it's coming from. He also tells Stefan that the head of the Secret Service, Himmler, is coming to town to see Will and he'd be coming back with his men to search the castle to make sure it's safe. And he should also make sure to only tell the Kaiser about it. As he goes inside to tell the Kaiser, Hermione comes in and spills what was supposed to be classified information. Soon after, Stefan meets with Sigurd and informs him of the search, telling Sigurd to also make sure Wilhelm doesn't say anything contradicting to Dietrich or even Himmler. Hermione also calls on Stefan and seemingly begs him to give a good review for Wilhelm if Himmler should ask as she's working towards getting the throne back. Dietrich finally arrives and Wilhelm gets pissed as he doesn't feel respected. The search, however, goes through and Stefan makes sure to search Make's room first as he's now suspicious of her. He searches quite well but doesn't find anything. Meanwhile, Wilhelm is feeding the ducks again with Make and he asks her if she has someone she's in love with. She says she does though she confesses to just meeting him. After that, Stefan sees her leaving the premises again and he follows her this time. As she's with the pastor and telling him that he should call London and inform them that she can kill Himmler, the pastor convinces her otherwise, saying they couldn't order revenge because Himmler killed her parents and she should just focus on the mission she had to do first. Stefan sees them through the window, and he doesn't say anything but leave as soon as they're done. When she gets back home, he's already there and she enters his room to spend some time with him. By morning when she's about to leave, he asks her to marry him and as she's still surprised and tells him that it's not possible, someone barges in and sees them. Soon after, Wilhelm's notice is brought to this and while Hermione asks that they both be thrown out, Wilhelm asks to be left alone with them in the room, insisting that he's still in control of his house. When everyone else is out, Wilhelm asks Make if Stefan is the one she talked about and when she says yes, he says that even though he's not supposed to be in support, he'll let them be but they should make sure to be more discreet. The Gestapo has now tracked the person sending the code and it turns out to be the pastor. Just as he's being tortured, Stefan is informed to come and see who it is. Immediately when he sees the pastor, he realizes that Make is the spy and she has been on a mission after all. He heads back to the house and just as he sees her and is about to say something, Sigurd calls him and just then Himmler arrives. They exchange pleasantries and Hermione also shares some kind words with the man. After all that, Stefan finally gets his moment with Make and he accuses her of being a spy and that it won't be long before the pastor gives her up. He also tells her how he knew that the pastor is her contact. He accuses her of using him for her mission, but she says she really likes him and he was not a part of her mission. Despite being told to leave, Make tells Stefan that she can't do that, and they'll have to go about their different jobs as she doesn't expect him to protect her. Elsewhere, Hermione bribes Himmler as she stylishly implies that they need their funding to stay at the castle. When Himmler has a private conversation with Wilhelm, he tells Wilhelm that he has been asked to come back to Berlin to take up his role again. He tells Hermione and she's so excited about it that she even tells a maid to start packing their things. Wilhelm also tells Sigurd, who congratulates the Kaiser. Meanwhile, Himmler meets Dietrich and Stefan and informs them that the government was only taking back the Kaiser as a trap to fish out those who were still interested in monarchy. He tells the officers that they'll be in charge of finding out whatever contact is made at the castle after which he leaves. Later that night at dinner, Himmler implies that he's against monarchy and the government was also against it. Everyone in the room seems to get it and when Himmler leaves that night, Hermione tells Wilhelm that she's still proud of him for keeping his cool and not flaring up when Himmler was talking. Stefan also informs Sigurd about the trap and tells him to inform the Kaiser too. In the woods as Wilhelm is splitting some wood, Make approaches him and says she's got a message for him from Winston Churchill. He suddenly realizes that she has been the spy all along. Just then, Make is heard shouting for help and that Wilhelm has collapsed, with Hermione headed towards him while Sigurd goes to get a bus to pick up the Kaiser. When Make sees Stefan, she tells him that she didn't do anything to Wilhelm and he just fell. Just then, a call comes in and as Stefan picks up, he goes silent and then tells Make that the cops know about her already. She tries to run away but he asks her to trust him and she waits as he makes a call for the guards to seal the perimeter and look for the suspect who is a maid. Elsewhere, Wilhelm tells Hermione of Churchill's proposal to bring him to London and also get him back his throne after the war. He however says his answer was no and that he would also not like to return to Berlin as he just wants to keep staying in their present house with her. She agrees and they hug each other. Sigurd finally arrives with the bus. And as they put Wilhelm in the back, 
Stefan takes control of the wheel and tells them he's got to take Wilhelm to the hospital alone and fast. As he heads away, he picks up Make and asks Wilhelm about letting her in, with the Kaiser agreeing happily. She enters and suddenly when they get to the gate, the Gestapo are already there. Gayatrich initially allows Stefan to leave when he hears Wilhelm needs to get to the hospital immediately. But as he asks to see inside with his men, Stefan shoots him and his other officers close by before driving away. As they get far enough, Make complains about Wilhelm looking weak and as Stefan comes to see, he says he's just sleeping. Make gets down from the bus and Stefan says she's got to leave, saying nothing would happen to him as he'll report that the spy killed Dietrich and the other officers before leaving. She kisses him and then asks that he looks for her after the war. As she heads away, he asks if she'll marry him and she says yes. He lights a cigarette and then goes to thank Wilhelm for helping but he just takes the cigarette from Stefan. Much later while he's now in an office, Stefan receives a gift which happens to have been sent by Mate, with her address written inside. With that, Stefan immediately makes a call and just then, Sigurd is seen meeting with Wilhelm and telling him that Stefan just called with good news. Make is also then seen as she's picked up by a woman who is taking her to see the Prime Minister, with her belly also looking big already. Stefan is then seen again in the office reading the book she gave him. And that is how it ended.